Hi everyone. Today I'm comparing three common sixteen-string budget lyre harps. The first is a solid body lyre in a bow design. The second, a hollow body lyre with a sound hole, and the third, another hollow body with a sound hole in a deer slash antler design. Now they're all from the Aklot brand, but many other brands have the same features. So you can use this video as a reference. I will show you how the three lyres differ in playability and sound. Some of these differences I did not know until I compared them side by side, like you're about to see. But first, something about me. I started playing the lyre this year. I'm making this video from the point of view of a user who has played the lyre for nine months. I started with the bow design, and I recently got these two, courtesy of Aklot. Let's talk about how they are similar. They are all made of mahogany. They have sixteen metal strings. They all came with a pickup. A tuning wrench, a set of spare strings, and the same bag. Difference number one is the string accessibility. All three models have a cutout at the upper part of the lyre. The cutout allows you to reach the strings from the back, so you can play with both hands. The deer design has the biggest cutout, big enough to reach all the strings from the back. When we look at the other two designs, the highest three strings, the F. G and A strings are blocked. You can only reach them from the front. Is this limitation a problem? Well, it depends on your playing style. If your left hand plays the bass notes, the lower notes only, it doesn't really matter that you cannot reach the higher notes with your left hand. You can still play the higher notes with your right hand. So it depends on how important you think full accessibility of the strings from the back is. The next difference is the spacings between the strings. The bow design and the middle design are quite generous in terms of how far the strings are apart. I can fit my fingers easily between the strings. The deer design, on the other hand, has strings much closer to each other. I cannot fit my fingers through, and I have small hands. From here, you can tell how much they differ. The vertical distance. From the top tuning pack to the bottom tuning pack is roughly the length of this pen, which is slightly over six inches. But the pen only covers eleven out of sixteen strings on the other lyre. I think the manufacturer tried to fit all sixteen strings within the cutout for full access on the deer design, but they didn't want the lyre to be too wide, so they made the strings closer together. Now, what happens when I switched playing from the bow design to the deer design? Is I got a ton of buzzing. Buzzing is when your nails touch a vibrating string by accident, creating an unpleasant sound. One of my lovely viewers, one of you, offered a solution to this problem. She said it's easier to play with your nails and not your fingertips, which makes a lot of sense. Your nails can get in between the strings with more precision. However, I like to keep my nails short, so I'm not using this method now. I just play with the very tip of my fingertips when I'm playing the deer lyre. The closest strings of the deer design allows you to play faster, but you need more precision, especially towards the two ends where the strings are even closer together. Difference number three: the pickup. These lyres from Aglots came with a pickup that you can stick on your lyre. The pickup collects and transmits the music to an amplifier, so the music you play will be loud enough when you perform for a crowd. The pickups for these three lyres are the same. For the bow design, you can easily slide the pickup under the strings to reach the middle of the bow, but for the other designs, the strings are not high enough for the pickup to pass through, so you can only attach the pickup to the sides of the lyre. I don't know how much a difference it makes in terms of the quality of the sound collection, but if you're planning on using a pickup, it may be something you have to consider. Difference number four: the bridge. The two hollow lyres with sound holes each have a bridge that raises the strings and holds them in place. The bridges are made of wood and securely attached. On the deer design, the edges of the bridge are filed down, so they are more rounded. And don't scrape against your skin or clothes. I wish they would do the same thing for the other hollow lyre because the edges are a bit pointy, not pointy enough to hurt people, but making them less sharp would be a nice touch. The bow design doesn't have this problem because it has no bridge, 
which brings us to the next difference: playing upright. Because the bow design has no bridge, when you're playing upright, make sure nothing touches the strings. If you play like Music Bloomer, it will not work because her leg is touching the strings. And for a lie with no bridge, the notes will go dead. Same thing if I'm wearing something chunky or if I'm playing on my blankets on the bed. If anything touches the strings, the notes will go dead. But it doesn't mean you can't play the bow design upright. You're just not as free. Look at Joy Abad. I hope I'm saying her name correctly. Or Jen and Fei. They have no problem with the bow design because they keep it clean. Nothing is touching the strings. If you haven't already, check out their channels. They play the lie harp very well. Difference number six: the back. When you turn the lies around, the middle one, that is the hollow body lie, has the ends of the strings exposed, whereas the other two have the ends hidden in drill holes so that their backs are completely flat. There's nothing wrong with exposing the ends of the strings. It's just not the most comfortable thing in the world to hold. Finally, we're off to a sound test. I'm going to play the same tunes on the three lyres. I'll play them under the same room conditions using the same mic. The only thing that may affect the fairness of this test is that I've been using the bowl lyre for nine months, so the strings are nine months old. Whereas the other two lyres have new strings. Other than that, everything else will be the same. I will play the same tunes, starting with the bowl-shaped solid body lyre, followed by the round-shaped hollow body, followed by the deer-shaped hollow body. I'm not sure if the recording has captured it, but the lyres with sound holes have more resonance than the solid body. But then the solid body has a somewhat sweeter sound. Which one do you like the best? 
Is there anything else you want to know about them? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching.